the one way spanning solid lab are normally designed in one meter width the main reinforcement bar are normally placed along the span while the secondary reinforcement bar are in the transverse directions the main reinforcement bar are normally placed at the outer layer of the reinforcement to give a maximum lever arm so that a higher moment resistance is generated. This diagram shows a typical uh, one-way span slab. This is the front view and from the side view, the slab is normally designed as one meter unit width. To determine the reinforcement bar area of the slab, these equations are used. This is the same set of equations that you use to determine the area of the reinforcement for the beam. As the cross sections of the slab is normally large, the slab seldom requires the compressive steel bar. Therefore, the equations to derive the reinforcement bar area for the slab is relatively easy. As for the curtailment of the slab, the curtailment rules is slightly different than reinforced concrete beam, particularly in terms of the percentage of the reinforcement bar and also positions where curtailment is done. This diagram shows the curtailment rules for the simply supported beam. Assuming the 100% reinforcement bar is at the mixed band, at both ends you may reduce the amount of reinforcement bar to 50% starting from 0.1L from the mid of the support. For the continuous slab, the 15% reinforcement bar has to be from 0.2L from the middle of the support. The amount of reinforcement bar is similar to the simply supported beam. However, top reinforcement bar is required. At the end support here, you will require at least 25% of the reinforcement bar at the mid span. It may be cut at 0.2L from the surface of the support. Since there will be hogging moment at the support, encourage length is to be provided and the reinforcement is to be provided as well at the top of the support. Assuming 100% of reinforcement bar is required here, you may reduce the amount of reinforcement bar by 50%. The positions where the curtailment is done can be 0.15L and 0.3L from the surface of the support. And it is important to ensure that this length has to be greater than the minimum required anchorage length. These curtailment rules are applicable for the UDL load and for the span of continuous slab, which is with the span of approximately equal. These curtailment rules are not given in Eurocode but is given by the previous code of practice. When there is a free unsupported edge, something like this, reinforcement bars are to be provided with a at least anchorage length of two times the height of the beam for the top and the bottom conditions.